Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it, y'all. What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Scott, about Nature TV, and we are here on this beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. I know it is lunchtime for some of you guys, and I know y'all be looking for me to give y'all some lunchtime gossip, and we're going to start this thing off with some Ariane Curry and Melody Holt T. Now, as you guys already know, um, yesterday was Mother's Day. Hope you guys had a great time for Mother's Day. Um, I hope you did some things for your mom. I got my mom some flowers, some chocolate colored strawberries, a card, and um. Um, I, 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 I got to go to the ATM because I was supposed to be giving her a hundred dollars too for Mother's Day as well. But, um, yes, you know, like I always tell my mama every Mother's Day, it's no way I could pay you back. But my plan is to show you that I understand it. What else do I tell off that song? Now, even though I act crazy. I got to thank the Lord that you made me. OK, so once again, happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers that's out there. In this world, all the mothers that watches and listens to my content, I appreciate you guys, okay? Now, apparently, according to Empress Radio, um, Ariane Curry went on live after Martell went live, because apparently Martell went live um, on Mother's Day, and he was being pretty petty. He acknowledged Ariane as an associate and not a woman, not a girlfriend, not the lady in his life. And apparently she blocked him and stuff like that. And she even said something about apologizing to Miss Melody Holt, okay? Now, um, I'm going to play some of the live because um, Empress got like um, a live with Ariane, the live with Martell. And I don't really think anyone cares about Martell's live at all. So I'm going to play what Ariane had to say. And then after I play what she had to say, y'all already know I'm going to come back and I'm going to continue on with my commentary. So let's get into um, what, uh, what Ariane had to say. It's two of them. Get one. Um, since you're not going to get blocked, are me and my baby daddy together? Well, my baby daddy blocked today. He made me, new. He made me mad yesterday. Or I made him mad yesterday. He blocked today. He'd be like that. But it's nothing to see here, though. Because I will call him and he'll answer that comment. So, it's nothing to see here. And it's not that I can answer the question. I didn't see that question, y'all. But I don't think it's ever if y'all together or if y'all ain't together. I mean, we're here going all way. You know, if you're on my live and you deal with him, mess with him, whatever the case may be, then we stop calling me and having Look at me pulling my little start back so it can look like I look like the how they ask you. Where in Dayton are you from? Um, my mom's house is down the street from the hair arena, not too far from Chocolate. Um, it's considered Harrison Township. That's exactly where, you know. Um, Or are you okay with your current situation? Girl, I'm trying to get fun. These men come and go. When I was in my 20s, you know, you put a man top tier 
Not, no, sir. Come here. Then you grow up and you be like, fucking niggas get money and do what you need to do for yourself and your kids. Um, a long, for a long time, I didn't understand that, but now I do. Y'all should too. It's, it's not necessarily about having. Y'all know these ads are gonna pop up, honey. Hold on. The keratin infused. Oh, there you go. Can you hear me? Okay, y'all said yes. Okay, for a long time, I was not, um, happy Mother's Day. For a long time, I was on some bullshit. I was not able to realize, okay, Ariane, what you did wrong and accept your thoughts. Now, I can. Ayana might be an eye opener for me, yo. I can already have an eye opener. Hi, Lauren. What you Lauren doing tonight? Lauren, my sister on here. Hi, sis. Let me not call you out, Lauren, for you being somewhere. What do you think you did wrong? You don't mess with nobody's husband. Next period, regardless of what he's telling you, niggas lie. Nine times out of ten, we don't lie, but men will tell you a whole damn thing. You don't mess with nobody's husband. Yeah. And I'm just now stepping into growth, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. It took a long time. It took a long time for me to realize, oh, oh, Ariana, regardless of what you were wrong, grow up, <laughs> move on. It's okay. Apologize to that woman. Whatever she did was out of hurt. But we got a minute and 56 seconds left, so I guess that's how long we're going to be on live before I tune into my family. Girl, no. Girl, no. It don't be worth it at the end of the day, y'all. But I got two kids to raise and I cannot um, keep juggling on the past. I cannot keep laying out big ass for some shit that I did in my fucking 20s. I won't. I had to release it, y'all. I had to. Yeah. I was always in defense mode. I was always worried about what y'all had to say. I was always somewhere hiding from y'all. But now it's like, fuck you. America's number one hottest, baddest ass mistress, Arion Curry. <laughs> Let me stop. I've been to Chicago. We got 55 seconds left. <laughs> And I love y'all. I love y'all. And I love my son. I hate him. Is he here now? You know what I'm saying? I love my son. I all you can do is move forward. If it's, it's something that, that you are dwelling on in the past, move forward. It's gonna be okay, y'all. These these men they come and go. But as women, we have to have a certain amount of respect for one another as to where, you know, you're looking at a man like regardless of what he told you, you have to get it together. <laughs> okay. Now, once again, shout out to Empress Radio. Shout out to Empress Radio and Jamie Ness Me because they are the ones that be having the lives that I miss. And a lot of the times I be wanting to do commentary on the lives and I can't find them. But I already know that Empress and my homegirl, Jamie, will have the live so I can do my commentary. So shout out to both Empress and um, Jamie That's Me for always having the lives when I can't find it so I can do my commentary. Um, <clears throat> now, Ariane is saying that she is owning up and taking responsibility for her part in what happened between her and Martell and her role in the um, the demise of Melody and Martell's marriage. 
I think it's cute, but girl, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, what really made you come to this point to where you feel as though you need to apologize and you need to take ownership for what you did? Me personally, um, it's kind of hard for me to believe this. I mean, people do change, but they don't change overnight. And it was just last week you was on live and you were saying that Melody is a hater and you were saying that Melody this and she's jealous of you this and she's jealous of you that and this and that and all of this and the third. But at the same time, <clears throat> but at the same point in time, to me, it's like, girl, what really made you come to this point in your life to where you realize that a man really ain't shit and that a man would tell you anything? Because Martel been just telling your ass anything and you was eating it up. You was eating it up, Ariane. Like you was eating it up. You was getting mad at everybody that was telling you um what was really good and what was really right and all of this other stuff. And now you're saying that, you know, men, men will tell you anything. You know, men will tell you this, men will tell you that. You know, it's it's crazy to me now that you are seeing it. And I'm glad that you quote unquote see it, you know, quotation marks, see it. But at the same point in time, girl, it's like everything was all good. When he was running to you every other night, everything was good when he was still fucking on you. Everything was good when you was getting on on social media talking about you sat on his face and he was eating your ass and he was doing all of this other crazy stuff. And everything was good when you went on Tasha K and you did that interview and you talked about Mel and you talked about Kimmy and you talked about Letitia. You talked about all of these women that's on this show. Everything was good when you were sitting up here trying to use the big S for sympathy. Everything was good when you was doing all that. But now that this man still not treating you like you want to be treated, now you want to say, I apologize. You didn't have any sympathy until the shit was happening to you. And, and one thing about it is karma. Karma is a bitch. And <clears throat> you have met her now. And now you're feeling those effects of the things that you have done. You have been trifling. You have been disrespectful. You have been a lot of things. And you have wanted, you have set up here and made yourself the spokesperson and a poster child for all of the side chicks in America. You have done that. When we didn't need you to do that, baby girl, we already had Jocelyn follow that. We didn't need you to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like you wanted to be this spokesperson for all side chicks. You wanted to be this spokesperson that was going to, you know, teach the girls the game about getting with somebody's husband. And this, in one hand, you say you should never deal with a married man. But on another hand, you say, I could take your man with play clothes on. And you got to pick which one. I always say this. You got to pick your poison, baby girl. You really do got to pick your poison because at the end of the day, you can't get on here on one hand and brag about how you take other people men, but then on another hand, when you have taken somebody else's man and that man started treating you like crap, now you want to get on here and grandstand and talk about how <clears throat> it's never right to be with a married man or anything like that. And let's just be real. It's never okay to be with a married man. It's never okay. Now, me personally, I've never messed with a married man. Have married men have married men ever tried to mess with me? Yes, I've talked about it on my channel. One thing about Scotty is that he will keep it real with y'all. I have told a whole lot of stories about my life. I have exposed myself in so many ways. I have dealt with a man that got engaged on me three times over the course of eight months. I've talked to two brothers before and didn't even know they was brothers. Like I have had a lot of wild romance stories in my whole life. So <clears throat> I feel like I am one of the right people to talk about shit like this. Shit, men slept with my friends, like all types of things I've went through. And I just feel like when it comes down to this, I think that Ariane needs to stay off social media. That's number one. She needs to stay off live. Every other day she don't live. And she knows that when she goes on live, her shit is going to be posted on the blogs. Like, we're going to talk about it. Like, it, it, it don't matter what she do or what she say. She loves the attention. She wants us to talk about her. I don't give a damn what she say. She loves the attention. She wants us to talk about her ass. And that's just what it is. She wants us to talk about her. And <clears throat> it's nothing wrong with that. But just own it. Like, baby girl, you want us to talk about it. You want us to talk about you. And that is simply okay. It's okay, girl. Like, it is, it's very much so okay. Just own it. You want to be talked about and that's cool.
be talked about, but just own it. So do I think that Melody needs an apology at this point? Probably not, because do I think that Melody would ever accept her apology at this point? Probably not. I mean, listen, Melody is a Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Melody is a fucking Scorpio. They don't they 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 don't forgive people like that. <laughs> like they don't forgive like that. Like they will hold a grudge to the end of time. There is like she will never forgive Ariane for what Ariane did to her. Would you blame her if she didn't? <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like Melody ain't forgiving that girl for nothing. She ain't forgiving that girl for shit. At the end of the day, she's not. She would never forgive Ariane for what she did to her. Ever. And I can't say that I that I um that I don't blame her because I don't. Like Ariane has caused this woman a whole lot of pain. Ariane has done a lot to this woman. Ariane has taken this shit to public. It's been the public embarrassment, public humiliation. It's a lot. That has happened and has transpired with these two women. And I don't ever see Melody forgiving Aryan for anything. I don't see her forgiving her for shit. And I personally wouldn't forgive her for shit. This is the this, this, fuck me not liking Melody. Cause I don't. Y'all know it. I don't. But when it comes down to the situation, I'm always gonna be team Melody when it comes down to the situation. For real, for real. Do I think that? There needs to be some kind of relationship between them because their kids are related. <clears throat> At some point, yes. Because Knox is Melody's kids' siblings. So at some point, they may need to get along. But then again, they really don't because it's really not up to Melody and it's really not up to Arion for those kids to have a relationship with one another. It's really up to Martel to make sure that his kids um, get along or make sure his kids have a relationship with one another. I really think that that's what it, that's what it really boils down to. It really ain't got nothing to do with Martel. It's, I mean, with, with Melody or Arion, it's mainly um, Martel has to make sure that his kids are together, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Um, at some point, do they have to get along? I don't know. Do they need to be cool? Probably not. Um, it's a lot. You know, some situations are forgivable. Some situations are amicable. Some situations you can get past. But when it comes down to this particular situation, I don't know if they can ever get past this. Um, you know, because Ariane is a loose cannon. And I'm not saying it to be funny. That girl is a loose cannon. One minute, she wants to make a meal the next minute i want to apologize to meal then the next minute oh i could take your man with play clothes on and i could take your man with a windy's uh uniform on like she 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 twists and she turns because just like i said just last week one of my videos i talked about it she was out here hating on it, my, um what's her name melody Dean. like she was popping shit on melody Dean, talking about her like a dog and saying that melody is a hater and all this other crazy stuff but it's like, girl, you got to pick your, like, what do you want? Like, and this is why people really ain't trying to hear what what's being said right about now. That's why ain't nobody trying to hear it because it's just like, I feel as though Ariane is a loose cannon. And I think that she needs prayer. I think that she needs to seek therapy. And I'm not even being funny. I'm definitely not being funny when I say this. I think that she needs to see seek therapy. I think that she needs to, you know, she needs to definitely seek. Um, <clears throat> she needs to seek help. She needs to go to go to her past or something like that. She needs to do all that, like because at the end of the day, she looks crazy in these streets. Now she wants to apologize to the woman after all the shit that she did. Like I said, if you if you if you see if you've seen what you've done and you want to rectify that situation, then you know do that. You know what I'm saying? Do that. But you got to be for real about it. And at the end of the day, you <clears throat> it's really hard to know if you for real. That's all I'm saying. It's that's all I'm really saying about it. So. What are you guys' thoughts on um, Ariane out here saying that she apologizes to Mel for being a side chick and she's owning up to her side chick, owning up to her side chick ways? Is she really sincerely apologizing to Melody or is she doing this because right now she's mad at Martel?
Because Martel was already a pig before she got with him. She he hell, he was a pig when she was with him. So what do you guys think about that? Um um, let's talk about it. Um, with that being said, you guys, before we go, let me let you guys know what I got coming up this week. Okay, now today is the Bad Boys LA panel with me, Manny, and Jamar. Um, it'll be tonight at 8 15 Eastern time. So be on the lookout for that. The whether you like it or not panel will be tomorrow night at um 9 15 Eastern, and it will be on giving you the real tease channel. So be on the lookout for that. On Wednesday, it would be Roast and Review with me, Terrence, and Josiah. We will be roasting and reviewing Candy and the Gang, as well as Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, Thursday night, it will be my my interview on a prelude with Miss Wanda. Jamar won't be in town this week, so um, it would be me and Miss Wanda um, on May the 12th at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central Time. Okay, you guys, um, please give me your questions if you have any. Um, I'm going to make another community wild post so you can leave your questions down in the chat and do whatever you feel because this is going to be funny. And, yes, I will be holding her feet to the cross. I'm going to be professional. A tad bit shady, but professional and respectful to the guests. Okay, we got to be respectful. Also, on Sunday, Who Was Wrong? Now, you know, yesterday, Who Was Wrong premiered yesterday, and it was Erica De Niro, um, and we were talking about Kenya and Portia. But this week, we'll be talking about, it'll be me and Make It Make Sense, a.k.a. Mims. It will be me and Mims this week, and uh, we'll be talking about Nene and Kenya's beef. Okay, so be on the lookout for Who Was Wrong. Um, this week. And also I don't have, um, the picture up, but, um, the influence would be this Saturday and it should be featuring TTB. So I'll be on the lookout for that this Saturday. Um, we haven't filmed yet. We haven't even got a film day yet. We got to figure out what day we're going to film. But, um, with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty. Okay. This be your boy, Scotty. Be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Be sure to do that. Be sure to, um, Click the notification bell button so you can be notified whenever a video drops. Be sure to share the video. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, be sure to um be sure to um follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It'll be in the description box. But if you want me to follow you back on IG, which is something that I do all the time, be sure to um hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message team Scotty and your boy would definitely, definitely follow you back. This was another episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? And I will see you for the next one, y'all. See y'all later.